So Patricia about this vibrato work. I mean, um, as I said, there are so many like systems how to develop vibrato and they basically, they always start from something simple and then they get, I don't know, more intense in some way. And uh, my experience is that I cannot really follow those instructions after maybe the first third or first half or so. <laughs> so then uh, it gets just very, very tense because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> and <laughs> then <laughs> that's uh, frustrating, of course. And uh, what I've allowed myself to do is then stop with the system and approach it from a different angle, like find something else that I want to do. And uh, the other the other thing is that um, I try to integrate what I learned from the exercises into my repertoire. And um, that was what I wanted to, to show you how I, how I do it, because, I mean, in, in the end, the only important thing is that this first knuckle of the finger moves, right? So that um, that this um, kind of flattens and stands up again. <coughs> and uh, there are like basically, like you know, you can get this going by by pulling the, the wrist back and let it reset, or you keep the wrist straight and do it with the arm, like. Okay, and the experts have their opinions what is better. And uh, I basically um, think that this is um, a discussion that is much beyond what concerns me right now. So if I if I get that movement, then I'm happy. And uh, if it's maybe a little bit wider when I do it with the arm or a little bit rounder when I do it with the wrist, okay, <laughs> maybe <laughs> for the very refined stages of vibrato, those considerations are important. But for now, I'm just I'm just watching out for that movement in the first knuckle. And uh, my natural tendency is to do it with the arm, but also when I have the third finger, yeah, sometimes uh, I kind of naturally go into the wrist movement. Now it didn't happen, but uh, so. I think from my perspective, like, I don't want to be puristic about it. So I, I also can kind of do it with the arm, but kind of imagine that my wrist is loose and maybe it has a little bit of a reaction also. Okay, so. Let's see uh, the slow movement of the, uh, or the slurical section in the Vivaldi concerto in the third movement. So, the first, uh, it, that, that's an A, second finger on the E string in second position. the vibrato was a little bit tight. So what I do is then, in the context of that note, I do some kind of exercises like,
so to get into the mood for this one note. And now that was better. So I'll try to put it into context again. now so that I really have time to develop the vibrato for that one note. For some reason, this is just the fifth The note on the A string is easier for me to vibrate than on the E string. So, okay, so these are just like things that I, I accept and I try to encourage these other notes also to, to sound nice and um, yeah. Another thing is um, I'm putting the finger down pretty flat already, so not, not this, but that, and that's debatable, uh, different uh, lines of thought, but that is what my teacher is encouraging, and it makes it easier to, to get into a loose, uh, like, first knuckle, <laughs> and also because the finger is flat, There is, a, it's a little bit rounder and also wider, I think, just by design. One doesn't have to work for that. Yeah, and the, the, the final thing that I notice is when I put the finger down, there's some energy and then, I mean, One shouldn't kind of um, hammer the finger onto the string and then keep pressing because once it's stopped, it's stopped. It's no use of really applying force to keep the string down. So there is a little bit of like a little bit, just a tiny bit of a release of the finger, and that can be like the beginning of the vibrato movement. Like you, you put some kind of. And, and that, yeah, that, that was too much. But there is some, some reaction like. Yeah, so that, that's the question of how to get the vibrato movement going, right? So this energy from putting the finger down helps and also another thing that helps is uh, just practicing these beginnings like way of practicing it doesn't fit yet now into this um, into the thing that I'm practicing into this uh, melody but if I feel like I have difficulty getting the vibrato going for this note then I would like put in that kind of practice for that. Yeah, 
so I, I like that much better than the first one I did. Maybe, yeah, the difference is maybe not that, that big, but doing these exercises that we all take from all kinds of sources, doing them in the context of the piece, that's what's helping me right now. <laughs> Okay, good. Hope that's helpful. And uh, well, 10 minutes already. Yeah, so. Okay, talk to you soon, okay? Bye for now.